In this Revit video, I would like to show you the benefits of the Align tool. The Align tool is on the Modify tab and in the Modify panel, and it's this tool right here. You'll find that uh, the Align tool is incredibly useful and really speeds up um, how you work. So just a couple of brief examples here. Uh, let's say I wanted this door right here and this door right here to be in the same location to line up. I could you know, certainly check the measurements and drive their position by clicking in and alter, altering their temporary dimensions and that would work fine. Or I could use something like the Align tool. I could simply pick the line at, that I want to use for a reference, so the stationary object, and then I can come in and pick that same part on this door and it will line them up. When you do that, Revit's giving you the option of locking that and constraining them. The benefit there would be if I constrain them, uh, you know, if the, the walls moved or something else shifted, these two doors would maintain that relationship and stay in a row. So if that's something you wanted, you could certainly do that. I could use the Align tool uh, in another situation, for example down here, um, it might be the case that I was making some closets in these rooms or something like that, and I wanted them to have the same uh, depth, basically, or width, I suppose. So I can use the Align tool. I'll pick the one that I want to stay stationary, the one that I'm using as kind of a base, and then I'll pick the uh, wall that I want to move and line up with it. And once again, I could constrain those so that they always maintain that relationship. Um, the Align tool is very useful. You'll find that you use it not only lining up um, you know, walls and doors, but also when you bring in various components, when you're using sketch base elements to get your line work to um, line up properly. So there's just a lot of uses for it, and it comes in really, really handy.